ladies, what's up? This is your girl Latina Loca once again in the lovely art studio of Bloomsburg University. See? I know the guy who painted that. I like this. I'm actually stealing his um, nut and chocolate mix. A sweet blend of roasted peanuts, cashews, almonds, raisins, and kidney coated chocolate pieces, which are really M&M's. You don't believe me? Come on, I'll show you. See this? It's a little M&M. See? Chocolate. I'm not big on candy. I know, shocker, right? All right, what I wanted to talk to you guys about, what's on every college student's mind right now. It's either this week or next week or last week. Finals week. This week is finals week. Dun, 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 dun. Finals week, yay! No, because that means you're gonna be staying up and cramming and studying and cramming some more staying up all night drinking coffee and then cramming some more for your tests. Now me personally, I hate tests. I cannot stand them. Sometimes I can study and study and study and study and study. Then as soon as I get to the testing area, WTF is what I really want to write on it. I love learning. I love school. I really do. I love obtaining new knowledge. I just hate tests. So we, what do, what do you guys what do you guys do to prepare for tests? Because I, I can't stand it. And the other day, my friends and I were talking, and I was actually talking to one of the administrators of my school, because I had won. I got a nomination for Employee of the Year. See, I got, I got, I got skills. I work. And we were talking about the significance of final exams, or the lack of, of the significance for the final exams. Because really, when you get a test throughout the normal year, you take the test, and if you Rather, if you flunk, flunk or pass, you get that feedback and you're able to learn from it. Okay, fine. But sometimes, some teachers, they teach you new knowledge on top of the old knowledge and then they give you a final exam on the new knowledge you just learned and the previous knowledge that you've learned throughout the year. So, you never know, and I've, and I've had this, you never know if you did good on the test, if you did bad on the test. You're basically hoping and praying that that final exam did not just basically freak you over for for your grade. Do you guys think that final exams should even be around? Do you think they're more pressure or do you think it's it really is a way for you to boost up your grade? Now for me, being that I don't like tests, I honestly think that a student should be given a final exam only if it will prove beneficial to their final grade rather than being detrimental. If Let's say I have a C in the class. My professor should be able to come to me, or I should be able to go to the professor, hey, you know, I really want to take this final exam. Rather, if I, have, if I have an A in this class, I go to class every day, I pay attention, I participate, I'm having A's in this class. I don't really think I should have to take a final exam. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I think that I actually think that would motivate people to maybe do better. Okay, if I get an A, then I don't got to take a final exam. And that's less I got to study for. Woohoo! Or what about instead of a final exam, it's a final paper? Or a take home exam or something? I don't know. I know some people are probably thinking, no, oh, that's the lazy way to do it. You know, you got to learn. But you are learning. I don't know. I've had two classes this, this semester where my final exam is a paper. And I like that so much better because now they're out of the way. I don't got to worry about them. Finals <sighs> week. But yeah, I wanted to ask you guys, how do you guys feel about tests? Do you guys get nervous? Do you guys freak out? Or, or tests are just like a breeze for you? They're there for me. But just let me know. Hit me up. I want to know, if, if you guys do get nervous, what do you guys do to cope with tests? Um, do you just sit there? Do you meditate for a second while you're taking that test? Or do you just feel like just studying really hard prepares you for the test? Like, how do you guys deal with final exams? Or do you even think that final exams are worth it? So, hit me up. I'll talk to you guys later because actually I do got another paper to write. For... <sighs> so, bye guys. Good luck in finals week if you're taking them. And if you're not, you're lucky. Good luck with your grades. And guys, go to school. If you're not in school, go to school. I am telling you, you will gain so much more knowledge. You will, you will be such a much better person. Person. God, I can't.
can't talk. I can never talk. Like, I'm from the city. I'm from an urban area. You know, graffiti's on the walls and trash in the corners and whatever. I mean, I'm from there. And I go to school, and I feel it is so amazing. The difference between myself and what I grew up in. Like, I used to be. And I still am. I'm, I'm always going to be a city girl. I, I can't do country. I can't do suburbs. I'm always going to be a city girl at heart. But I feel that whenever I do go home, I look at the people that I used to hang around with. Some of the people, not all. Or I just look at the people in my neighborhood and I look at the mentalities and I look at how they act and how they treat each other. And I, and I hear the vocabulary and how they speak or what, what they call a language. And I'm just astounded that... I sit there and I'm like, I used to be like that. I used to do the stupid things that they're doing. And I feel so much more educated, so much wiser, so much mature. I am so much more mature and I've learned so much and I've met so many different types of people in school than I ever would have had just staying at home with a high school degree. I know college is really, really hard for, for a lot of you guys. It's hard for me. I'm poor as heck. I got loans up the wazoo. But you know what? Your college experience will definitely be what you make. If you're just going to sit there like some people that I have seen with a less than a 1.0 at GPA and sitting in their room in the dark playing PlayStation all day, you're not going to do anything. You're not. Of course you're not going to get any benefit from it. So guys, get to school. Trust me. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Trust me. All right, good luck with finals, guys, and leave me a comment about what you guys think about tests in school and how do you guys prepare for it, how do you guys get over the anxiety if you feel them. All right, hasta la bye-bye. Bye.